Hey everybody, John Fellenstein here, the University of Akron's Professor Polymer from the Akron Global Polymer Academy with another daily demonstration. We're in my basement this morning and we are going to be experimenting with a large pendulum. Let me see if you can, I can show it to you right here. So the question is, will a pendulum return to its original point from where it's released? What do you think? Yes or no? Three, two, one. So I have a couple of volunteers right here that we're gonna see if we're, we can get that to come up and hit them. Notice where we're starting, right close to their faces. Three, two, one. Here. Here. You can stop it. Oh! Stop it. Ready? You can start it. I did. Three, two, one. Okay. Uh. Uh. <laughs> it's not. Okay, you can stop it now. So a pendulum will never return to its original starting position because of friction. Friction between the ball or the weight on the pendulum and the air, as well as friction between the rope or the line and the air. There's also friction at the attachment point at the very top where it attaches. Right, so all of those minute losses to friction will hamper or impede the pendulum from coming back to its original starting place. That's why the bowling ball did not come back and hit me in the chin, although it was touching my chin when I started it. Have a great day, stay safe, and remember, go Zips.